My people wonder shall never end. <laughs> they said allegedly Odakavius' wives was as in they, they were on the run over the fact that KBC brought out the ancient sword. The fear of the ancient sword is the beginning of wisdom. <laughs> hey, don't be smart, you know. According to the information reaching us, they said, these people have teamed up. You know that they are planning on reconciliation from what we heard. They said they are planning uh, to reconcile with Queen Naomi with the help of only of her first sisters, you know. But we all know that that their evil plan will not work because they term it reconciliation. But uh, when you watch it spiritually, find out that it is not. It is a means of achieving their evil aim, of which I know that it is not going to happen because there have been revelations, prophecies concerning that same reconciliation. So, uh they uh, gathered, they, they said they gathered, they went to Ifa priest and begged Ifa priest to speak to Kabiesi on their behalf, that Kabiesi should please speak to Queen Naomi to attend this reconciliation, you know, because they know that if Kabiesi did not tell her or convince her that she might not come. And they told Kabiesi that they don't have any, they told the Ifa priest that they don't have any evil agenda. They hold nothing against Queen Naomi. As a matter of fact, they claim that they have not done anything so far against Queen Naomi. They have never planned any evil against Queen Naomi. In as much as they don't want Queen Naomi to return back to the palace, but they have never done anything. No juju against Queen Naomi. No plans against Queen Naomi. Hey, they said when they said that to the Fa priest, they said if a priest told them that, uh, are you sure of what you're saying? That you have never planned any evil against Queen Naomi? Yes. You have never any, have any gang up against Queen Naomi? Yes. You have never for once do anything that is detrimental to Queen Naomi's life? And they all said yes. Uh, they said if a priest said, okay, if that should be the case, that uh, he will help them and, and they beg Kabiesi. But before that, that they will have to follow him. To go and meet Kabiesi. Yes, that if they follow him, at least Kabiesi will know how serious they are and uh, he is going to try his best. But why, if a priest was telling them this, if a priest have another motive? You know? So, my, my dear, that is how they said they fixed a date to go and meet Kabiesi. If a priest told Kabiesi that he would want to come and meet him so so time with the, the wives, Kabiesi was like, what for? As in, but at the end of the day, the second BSC agreed to meet with the Fa priest, not knowing that the Fa priest was coming with all of his wives. <laughs> so, the funny part of it is that they said when they got to where they, ha they will have to meet KBS, KBS was surprised. What is it? Is there any problem? How come that nobody have come to tell me about the problem and they carry it to a Fa priest? Is that not uh, dis disrespectful? They said if a priest started begging Kabiesi that Kabiesi, please don't see it that way. That maybe they think that uh, because I am close to you, uh, it's, they, I will help them to beg you and all of that. That you should please speak to Queen Naomi to come and uh, partake in their reconciliation party. <laughs> they said Kabiesi laughed. The reason Kabiesi is laughing is because. They said the custodian of Odua Sacred Forest have told Kabiesi already that on no account should he allow Queen Naomi and Tade Nikawo attend that reconciliation party. The reason is because that party is not a reconciliation party. It is a means of finishing what they started with Queen Naomi. But they will make her feel comfortable and good that everything is all right. But at the end of that party, that she will regret ever going there because she might not even be alive to tell the story. That is what they said the custodian of Fudua Sacred Forest have told uh, Kabiesi concerning that uh, so-called reconciliation party that they are planning. So with Kabiesi, when Kabiesi have all this information and these people are coming here now to tell him that uh, they don't have any evil attention 
towards Queen Naomi. They have never planned anything against Queen Naomi, this and that. Hey. The second BSC was surprised that when it, uh, the far priest that brought them was telling KBSC that they said that they have never for once planned any level against Queen Naomi, this and that. And I asked myself, what about all the bereaved pot who have been burying all of those ones? <laughs> The second BSC did not talk much because sometimes it is not good to talk much, to say much when you have, uh, when uh, action is there to settle the whole thing. That is how they said KBSC went inside and reappeared with ancient sword and told the wife that the only condition that when Naomi will come to that, their reconciliation party is for any one of them to touch that protective, to touch the ancient sword and say, that ever since she got married to Kabye, said that she have never for once planned any evil against Queen Naomi or against Kabye, or is not planning anything, as in that they have never for once planned and they have never been a party to any gathering against Queen Naomi and Tadeni Kawo and the, the king. And they don't have any evil intention towards uh, Oni of Ife and the throne that... If they are able to do that, that they don't have any problem. He is going to convince Queen Naomi to be in their reconciliation party. They said, after Kabiesi said this, Dr. Lizzie was with Kabiesi when they came because Dr. Lizzie was not part of their meeting and all of that. They said Dr. Lizzie took the ancient sword and said that she had never planned any evil against Queen Naomi and will never be part of it and will never be part of any group or any gathering against Queen Naomi's progress and that of Tade Nikawo and Oni of Ife. And he will, she will never be part and she will never plan and she is not planning. They said, after saying that, he ha she handed over the ancient sword to Kabiesi. Then Kabiesi was waiting for the remaining Oloris to do the same. They said, if this person look this other person, this person will look this other person. Not even one of them, not even one of them could try to hold the ancient sword. And Kabesi said that you guys must do it though. The moment Kabesi said that all of you must touch this ancient sword. Fiam, Consi run, Consi run. The way they are, they said they were running like children, you know. <laughs> the way they were running away, they were dragging the door. Who will move? Who will go first, first before the other? <laughs> that was when KBS see, see them. You think you are wise, and they say KBS turned to the Fapris that brought them, and told Fapris, "See the people you are begging on their behalf. Do you see? Their plan is to buy with Naomi on that reconciliation party. There is nothing else. They don't. They don't like her, and they don't want her to come close. They said the Fapris said to KBS that I know." I know that you are KPSC and I know you must come up with something. That is why I agreed to bring them to come and they make a mess of themselves. <laughs> hey, that is how they say they run. Why they were running, they were fatten. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. They are all rumored information. They are not for stand information. Thanks for watching. Please tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and share my video. Bye. I love you guys.